Oh, we got some paper. <laughs> it's hilarious. Mailbag time. Got some Aria stuff. Some other things. Let's see what we've got. Well, there's quite a lot in this one. So it feels like it. Let's see. Gonna use this knife because it's a bit easier than my round knife on these things. It's a bag inside a bag because who doesn't like that? Capacitors again. What we got? Capacitors, 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 and some capacitors. As I said in my last mailbag, someone commented on my video about a month ago that I haven't ordered any capacitors recently. <laughs> Somebody actually noticed I had me buying capacitors, that's quite funny. And I do use quite a few in my pairs, because you know, that's my matter of course is what I do, is I replace capacitors, even if I seem to think they're probably okay, unless there's a reason to absolutely leave it in there. I will replace capacitors because often, even if they test okay, they can still be bad. So I use a lot of capacitors in my repairs. So I've been buying some more. So 2225 volt, 50 volts, one microfarad, they're quite big actually. <laughs> Give an idea. I've also got these ones, which are what I've already got in stock. Same ratings. <laughs> That's fine. 35 volt, 330 microfarad, 63 volt, 47 microfarad. 35 volt, 2200 microfarad. I think that draws pretty full now. I think it fit much more in it. 220 microfarad, 50 volt. So these are ones which I just went through my, my drawers here, which are just behind the camera here. Hold on, let's tip it back a bit. Just over there, my drawers. I just went through those and just saw what I seem to be a bit low of. I probably missed some stuff. I've got more coming still. Have you ever commented about my capacitor shortage? Well done. Well done, you. So it's DHL. It's not from RS, it's from somewhere else. Oh, I can see because the capacitors in here. <laughs> so we've got some 470 picofarad 500 volt cap. Is that these ones? And we've got a couple of electrolytics. So we've got uh, 470 microfarad 25 volt and an axial. These are axial caps. 35 volt 470 microfarad. So 35 volt and 25 volt 470 microfarad caps so the actual ones are in a lot of older gear they're also hard to get and a lot more expensive than the standard radial caps so radial caps are also getting a bit harder to find like the through hole stuff and the axial are even harder i actually find the axial ones i only really get these from like element 14. ors components really has them i think arrow in the us has them as well so i think you can get them digikey and places like that too but um these are element 14. And these ceramic caps here, I don't know why I got those. Probably from old order, which I completely forgot about. And it's probably still sitting on the car. I don't know. <laughs> Something. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you like capacitor videos. I've got a few capacitors today. So I think all you know what's in this. There's a bit of a story behind this. Quite a bit of a story, actually. Oh, it's double bagged. Might have to hide this, hold on. Hello, we're good. It's fine. So, this is a kit, as it were, of riser cards. So these are actually for my HP 3561A DSA, which I started doing repair on about mm, six weeks, two months ago, something like that it was. I actually did the first video on that about two months ago, must have been. But I didn't have any riser cards for it, so I decided to get some riser cards. These were, well, seemingly lost. So I've ordered riser cards from the same person multiple times now, without any issue. But this time, they seem to disappear for a while. The story is that they came into the country, they arrived in the country on the 1st of December. They were scanned on the 1st of December, they arrived in the country. So from the time that the person sent them, to the time they arrived in the country, was reasonable. I think it was like a week and a half, two weeks, some of that. Absolutely fine. Then, nothing. No more scans. An entire month went by. 31st of December, the next scan, was in Australia. It's like, well, what? what's he doing over there? <laughs> they arrived in New Zealand, disappeared, then turned up in Australia. On the 6th of January is when they actually arrived. So six days after being scanned in Australia, they turned up again over here. Which how long it should have taken in the first place. So I think they got a bit messed up. And they, um, I think the actual story there, from what I could tell from the scans and the information that I saw on the packaging, 
these have gone back to Australia to be returned to the sender via DHL's depot. They realised this is a mistake, could see my address on it, and sent it back to me again. And this time they came through. I hate incompetence. Incompetence, I have no patience for incompetence. People with no knowledge or lack of knowledge, I don't have a problem with that. Absolutely fine. All of us started somewhere with no knowledge of anything. I don't have a problem with lack of knowledge. But I do have a problem with incompetence. Not the same thing. It seems there's a lot of postal system incompetence. Worldwide. It's rather frustrating. Anyway, that's my rant for today. We'll move on. And now we've got this massive box of RS. What on earth is in here? Is it capacitors? Is it? Could it be capacitors? Are you all excited on UG seat? Are you excited as I am? Oh, we've got some paper. <laughs> it's hilarious. <clears throat> I shall take the paper out of the way and you will see why I'm laughing. That's all, awesome, isn't it? You're kidding me. This massive box. That massive box, all that packaging for 10 capacitors. That is hilarious. So these are 35 volt 220 microfarad caps. Ah, that made my day. Bonus package. I've got a whole bunch of stuff here, so I thought I'd add some more stuff onto the back of this mailbag. Let me get to click the like and subscribe. Some RS batteries. I'm just hoping these are the right size. So I've been buying SLA batteries from JCAR Electronics, who is like a New Zealand and Australian distributor. Do lots of general stuff. They've not been lasting very long. These Dimetic or Dialetic, I don't know, I can't remember names now. But they only last you know, a year or maybe two years if I'm lucky. Not doing very well at all. So I thought I'd get some from somewhere else this time. Because I'm going to get sick of the whole battery life thing. So I thought we'll go to RS, we'll get some from them, and we'll see if these are any better. So hopefully it's a different manufacturer. I was hoping to find some like Yaesu or something like that, but um, didn't have any luck there. They probably are out there, just haven't looked hard enough. But I thought I'd get these. Now these are like 60 bucks each. So they're about, uh, I think, about 10 or 15 dollars more than the JCO ones, which I don't mind if they last longer. I might give these a quick test. What I think I'll do is charge these up. Measure the battery resistance and that sort of stuff because I can do that. I'm not going to show the UPS installation there. So once I've done the charging up and everything, I'll come back and do some more video and we'll see what the results are. Maybe in a year or two time, we'll come back and see how they performed. But before we do that, let's just have a look and see what the actual charge states are from new. So 12.6, 12.6, they're both the same actually. That's good. I've just hooked this up, just turned it on. So it's at 13 volts right now. I've got a current limit of 1.5 amps. These got an initial current of 2.1 amps max. So that's fine, I can actually have like 4 amps output on this and it'd be fine. So I'm not too worried, I'm just going to gradually bring it up, I want to make sure they're not shocked or anything. Let's go to 14, 14 volts, this is now current limiting to 1.5 amps. So I'm seeing a 13.1. And this cycle use is 14.4 to 15 volts. Standby use 13.5 to 13.8. So I should be within that 13.5 to 13.8 range basically when it's sitting in the UPS. And that's what it should be. Otherwise you end up overcharging them. So I'm going to leave this on for a while, let it charge up. I'm going to bring them up to 14 volts. In fact, I might even go to 14.4. Just give them a really good first charge, get them started off in a good way. And got them in parallel, obviously, so it's going to mean they're balanced out, which is also quite important when you're putting stuff into gear. Because if they're not balanced, they might get an imbalance and it will have one battery does well and the other battery is overloaded and doesn't charge properly. That may be why sometimes these things fail, because they're not balanced very well. So these two look like a good match anyway. Right, so these have both been fully charged, they're both balanced out with each other. I've also done a low test on them, I've run a 5 amp test for 15 seconds on them. And this one dropped down to 11.9 volts, and this one dropped down to 12 volts at the end of that test. So that's what it did down to at the lowest point. So they both seem fine, those are in line with what I'd expect from a brand new battery. So let's check the internal resistance. So we'll hook this up. And we'll see what this thinks of them, we'll make a note of that as well. Good little tool this. So that's 18.58 milliohms. Okay. 18.58. Let's check this one. So 
So 18.46 milliohms. So this one's actually looking slightly lower than this one. I did do a load test on them five minutes ago, so maybe they're still stabilizing again. So yeah, maybe I might need to just put a bit more float on them just to give another half hour or so, let them float a bit better. I was charging at 13.8 volts, which is the maximum for the standby charge. So that's labeled. I've got a date on them, so I can put these in. I'm going to stabilize them some more, put some more charge on, give them a bit longer, let them float back again, put these in. Hopefully they'll last more than a year this time. Fingers crossed. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and find out in future when I next replace these batteries. Is it going to be a year? Is it going to be longer? Stick around and find out. Hope you're still here in a year's time. Check the links out down below for anything, maybe, which I think is just this today. And watch out for repair videos on this thing. There'll be a playlist for this repair, so make sure you check that out. Catch you later. Bye.